What are coalitions and how do they affect the negotiation process? Well, a coalition is a subgroup or group of two or more individuals who join together and combine their resources and use those resources together to affect an otherwise mixed motive situation or outcome such that the common outcome might satisfy those individual motives that each member of the coalition obtains, even though the mo motives are not exactly the same. Okay, so with that being said, when you have this scenario where two individuals come together in a coalition, two or more individuals, numerous challenges arise. One, what's the optimal coalition size? How many people should be part of this grouping? Uh, there's always issues with trusting each other, and there's always the temptation to defect or pursue your own interest uh, at the expense of the interest of the coalition. And then once you do arrive at an outcome, one that otherwise somewhat meets the interest of all parties to the coalition, how do you divide up the pie, as they say, or how do you split the reward or proceeds of the outcome of the negotiation? This is a very difficult scenario. So let's look at a couple of tactics that can help with this process. So here are some commonly understood or commonly recognized practices uh, that are effective in the coalition scenario. Number one, make contacts early. If you work before the no negotiation with plenty of time and ability to align your interests, to establish common understandings, and to get to know each other's personalities, this can help a great deal. Get verbal commitments to that point. Have people establish their position, establish their willingness to coalesce around this objective or common objective or goal. If they state their objectives and their intentions and their willingness uh, to commit to the coalition, then once again, this helps with the situation. Now, avoid biases at every turn. Avoid biases in establishing roles, avoid biases in uh, allocating the reward or the pie, as they say, um, that results from the negotiation. So make certain you're taking an approach that incorporates the point of view and demonstrates some level of common understanding of the group's interest. Okay, uh, Make certain to share all relevant information. We know that communication breakdowns are a huge uh, hurdle that groups face. So sharing all information broadly and limiting or avoiding uh, side conversations or side uh, agreements among members of the coalition can once again avoid issues that commonly arise. Okay, Focus on the interests at stake in the negotiation not the positions of each party that has a different motive in the negotiation. Focus on the ultimate intent and the outcome, and if it is important identifying an acceptable outcome to consider the individual interest, make certain that everyone is aware of the interest of anyone so you can focus together collectively on an outcome that can meet those interests and everybody's fully understood. Okay. Next, test assumptions and inferences. Too often when you have more than two people involved in any situation together where they're coalescing around a, a common objective, there will be misunderstanding between them. Usually this results in one party assuming something about the other that's not accurate or uh, true. So if you test assumptions or inferences in a given situation about each other, about the purpose of the team or objectives or what is an acceptable outcome, or even testing aspects about the other side that you're going to be negotiating with, what, this can all make it more effective uh, to coalesce together uh, for a purpose. Next, seek consensus. Any decision, any milestone, any concession that is absolutely necessary as part of the negotiation process, seek consensus on it. A willingness of, that is, each member of the group needs to be willing to accept this type of concession in this way. And also recognizing that certain concessions have to be made earlier than others, or if the others can will be made at all, and this early concession might affect the interest of one member of the coalition more than others. So this needs to be made aware and uh, the team members need to be on board with the order in which concessions are going to be made and how that will affect individual interests. Oftentimes this will mean some sort of adjustment to the reward or final outcome of the negotiation and how it's divided. Okay, uh, Make certain you always explain yourself. 
holding things in or making assumptions, as we talked about in testing assumptions and inferences, uh, means that others are going to have some understanding that they perceive from a given action or situation. So with that being said, you can avoid this by making certain that anything you do, any action you take, any objective you have, explain yourself, justify it, give the reasoning behind it so that others have knowledge of it and can better accept it. And there's less likelihood of confusion there. Now, conflict almost is inevitable in a group scenario like this. Even if it's a very minor conflict, make certain you have a plan in place for dealing with it. Use some uh, conflict resolution best practices, making sure everybody's heard, making sure you don't alienate individuals in a given scenario. Try to make things not personal, making it make it more about a particular action or behavior or position rather than about, than about the person themselves. Doing this, doing these things can resolve conflicts before they become uh, so major that they interrupt the negotiation. And then stay focused on the negotiation, the outcome, and the process and procedures. Avoid distractions. It's too easy for individual interests in, of the individuals in, as part of the coalition to get distracted and pursue their own interests. If you continue to focus on the objectives of the team, the procedures laid down, the agenda at which you are going to proceed in the negotiation, you'll be more successful. So in summary, there are a lot of tactics that can be used to make coalitions more effective in a negotiation because uh, there are key hurdles that you have to overcome by forming a coalition. So this is a coalition and how it works in a negotiation situation.